Those of you that are familiar with Stu's reviews will recognize this very old leather top desk that I review everything from. You might not know that it can do this. And I haven't even modified it. Welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews. Let's talk about the state of wireless charging. But before we do, if you find today's video helpful at all in any way, please return the favor and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I release new content. But wireless charging, let's talk about that. It has been something I've been a massive advocate for for years and years and years. I love it. I think wireless charging is awesome. And believe it or not, it's been around since around 2008, I believe. Now, the standard for wireless charging is called Qi or QI. That is what you'll find in nearly every single phone that is being released at the moment, this wireless charging standard called Qi. But like I said, it's been out since 2008. And although I'm in a massive advocate of wireless charging and I have been for years and years, it's lost its magic for me. It's not that interesting anymore because everyone's adopted it. I've done my part by saying how good I thought it was and everyone's now using it. Obviously, it wasn't just down to me, or it might be, but like I said, it's lost its charm. That is until the Invisigi charger landed on my desk. But where is it? How is it that my phone can charge on this desk without there being a charger and without having modified this desk in any way, shape or form? Let me show you the Invisigi. So this is the Invisigi, a 10 watt fast charge capable Qi charger. And no, I haven't lost my marbles just yet. Instead of having to sit on my desk, it actually sits about one centimeter through the wood on the underside of the desktop. That in itself isn't that wondrous, but it's still pretty impressive given that I've never charged through my desk before. But it doesn't stop there. Apparently this can go through much thicker than that. So stick with me and let's find out how thick it can actually go. But first, the installation. Installation couldn't be simpler. You simply use this mounting plate and you can screw it underneath your desk and then fit the charger in it so it holds it tight to the underside of the desk. Now, if the screws are too invasive for you, you can use these 3M sticky strips that came with the kit as well, meaning you don't even have to screw into your desk. You simply stick it to the bottom and it's ready to go. Installation could not be simpler. In the box, there's also a few other things. There's a giant pad sticker that you can sit anywhere on the top side of your worktop if you want to know exactly where your charger is. Now, this could be really important if, say, you're installing these in a cafe or some public place where you want people to know exactly where to put their phone to charge it. Or could be for your desk if you keep forgetting where to put your phone because it can be a bit difficult to locate exactly where it goes without a sticker saying where to put it. Now, the thing that I really loved that came in the box is this, which is basically a wireless charging tester. Now I can put this on top of the charger to basically tell me whether or not it's working. So for example, I put it on top here and it's quite clearly flashing very, very bright, showing me exactly where it's picking up that wireless charge. Now I can put this through my desk like this. Well, this is just designed to sort of help me locate where I want it. So you can see it's still picking up the charge and I can move it slightly, move it around. You can see it's picking up the charge in different locations depending on where I'm moving it. Now this is good to make sure that you can charge through the desktop that you want to charge through. And apparently you can charge up to three centimeters of thickness, which is about that thick. So let's give it a go. I've got some books here. Let us try a book. This book is 2.5 centimeters, so 25 millimeters. So first question being, will this be picked up through it? Look at that. That is a significantly thick item for it to be charging through. Question is, will it pick up on a phone? 
the answer is yes, I can charge through a buck. This is all extremely impressive. Okay, let us see if we can do another book. This in itself actually is slightly thicker, this book. This book is 30 millimeters, so let's put that down and use the three centimeter book. This is supposed to be the limit of what I can charge at. Still flashing, we're still in business. Let's try the phone. It does indeed work through a three centimeter buck. Will this be picked up through two bucks? No, apparently it won't do 50 mil. Let's try and halve the book and see if it does it there. I reckon this is probably about 40 mil. I'll measure it in a second. Let's try this. Oh, look, look, look. Look, look at that. If I measure all these pages together, 36 millimeters, 36 millimeters. What can I say? Like, I've never been able to charge through a book before. That is impressive work. That to me is pretty magical. And it doesn't just work through things like wood or books. It also works through things like marble and granite, which a lot of people have kitchen worktops made out of. That's ideal for me because I actually use a kitchen worktop as my desk, if you might have seen it in my recent desk tour setup video. And that's a really thick desk. So the fact that this can travel through 30 mil easily and charge my phone still is impressive. I'll talk about the distance in a second or two, but one of the biggest little things, little voices at the back of my head whilst using something like this is, is it safe? And I guess the takeaway is that I'm still alive after testing this, which is pretty good. And I've been using it for the past couple of weeks as well, and my house hasn't burnt down. But aside from this fact, it's got an internal safety switch that switches off if things get too hot or it begins to overcharge. So it does have that safety element and all the relevant bodies have approved it. So actually my worry there is minimal. No more concern than using a generic wireless charger. But the fact this can go through my desk is a real positive. The other thing apparently it's got is foreign object detection, although I'm not quite certain how this is supposed to work because surely if you're charging through a book, that's a foreign object. But we'll ignore that fact. Despite this being actually incredibly magical from my perspective, it's not 100% perfect. First of all, obviously dependent on the depth of the desk depends on how weak that signal is. So it might take you a bit longer to locate where the phone sits on the desktop if you're going through the maximum width desk. Not an issue, but as you saw when I did the test, it does get a bit weaker depending on that depth. But not just that, it's also got a minimum operating distance too. Supposedly the phone needs to be 0.25 inches away from the charger for it to charge. Now that's a bit of a shame because this thing actually looks quite nice when it's brushed surface. It would look nice as a desktop charger and not just something that sits under your desk. Also, although it works with all the Qi compatible phones, depend on the phone will depend on the maximum thickness this can charge through. If you're using a phone with magnets in the back, or if you're using a phone with a rather large camera bump, then unfortunately it might reduce slightly the distance this can charge through because you're lifting it off the surface you're putting it on, making this work a bit harder. I don't think it will affect it loads, but it can still affect it a small amount, and that information is available on their website. Ah. And the cost. The cost is also quite pricey for a wireless charger. You can pick up wireless chargers for as cheap as 20 quid, although they may set your house on fire, but the average wireless charger that's a decent value, you're looking at about 50 quid. This is $100, so it's gonna set you back a bit more. But actually, I think that value is pretty good when you consider what this can do, charge through your desk, and I don't have to take a saw, a chisel, a drill, a screwdriver to my desk to make it work. It sort of pays for itself in that respect. 
Because imagine I'd taken a drill to this desk now and broke it. This would cost me several hundred pounds to replace this desk. But I didn't have to do that. I simply use this underneath, pop it in, and I'm good to go. And you know what? This is the first time I've been excited about wireless charging in a long, long time. And $100 for that feeling is not a lot, in my opinion. The thing is, we all dream of a world where we can walk into a room and your phone starts charging because there's a box screwed up in the top corner of the room that wirelessly, magically charges all of your devices. And it's not impossible. I mean, there's quite a few companies out there that have shown concepts of this. In fact, Xiaomi very recently showed off a concept of that. But it's exactly that, a concept. And I don't think we'll see that type of technology in consumer houses for quite some time. And if we do, it's not going to be cheap at all. $100 will probably look like a pack of sweeties compared to the price that something like that will cost you. This, to me, is that bridge between the magical way we want it to be and the old way of wireless charging, sticking it on a normal, bulky, horrible-looking thing on your desktop. This brings a bit of magic back to wireless charging, and I absolutely love it for that. And as far as it goes, it's really impressed me. Hmm. And that, guys, concludes today's episode on the Invisitri wireless charger. Guys, thanks very much for joining. Just a reminder, if you did find today's video helpful at all, taking a look at the Invisitri charger, don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe and that notification bell to find out more content when we drop. But other than that, guys, thanks for joining. I'll see you back for another episode of Studio Reviews soon.